ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ವಿಚಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಭೂಪ್ರದೇಶ ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ದಟ್ಟವಾದಂತಹ ಕಾಡುಗಳಿಂದ ಕೂಡಿದ ಮಲೆನಾಡಿದೆ ವಿಶಾಲವಾಗಿ ಹಾಡಿರುವಂಥ ಬಯಲು ಭೂಮಿ ಇದೆ ಕಡಲ ತೀರಗಳಿದೆ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಗುಡ್ಡಗಳಿದೆ ಬನಗಳಿದೆ ಫಲಭರಿತ ತೋಟ ಇದೆ ಧುಮುಕು ಜಲಪಾತಗಳಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ಸೇವ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇದೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಆಸೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಈಗಿದೆ ಇತ್ತು ಮೊದಲು ಈಗೂ ಇದೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೂ ಇರಬೇಕು ತಾನೇ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಸೇವ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ಎಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಥವಾ ಈಗಲೂ ಅದು ಅನಿವಾರ್ಯ ಈಗಲೂ ನಮಗೂ ನಮಗೂ ಬೇಕು ಈಗಲೂ ಬೇಕು ಈಗಲೂ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸಿನೇ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಮರ್ಜೆನ್ಸಿ ನೀವು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಕೊಡಗಲ್ಲಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಕೊಡಗಲ್ಲಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮರದ ಶೇಡಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಜಮೀನು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಣ್ಣು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ನೀವು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ತೊಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡಿ ಭಾಳ ಸುಲಭ ಇದು ಮಾಡೋದು ಮಾಡಿ ಅದೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಹೋಗಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ತೆಗೆದು ನೋಡಿ ಕಣ್ಣಲ್ಲಿ ನೀರು ಬಂದುಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಮರದ ಇದು ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೀ ಶೇಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ರೆಪ್ಲನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟ್ರೀ by the falling of the leaves and enhancement of organic content and animals and a land which doesn't have vegetation and animal life is entirely different without plant life and animal life you cannot keep the land rich soil will turn into sand over a period of time 10% of the earth's soil has become sand in the last 25 years 10% in 25 years desertification is the core problem of the planet right now we are not far behind india's average soil organic content is supposed to be 0.68% in recent times i'm beginning to dispute that because i had what we thought was rich land when we tested that it was very poor well below that i think it's somewhere around 0.5% probably average because you're counting hills and mountains and forests if you count only agricultural soil it will fall below 0.5% which is very serious because according to un agencies below 1% is considered desertification healthy soil means minimum 3% yaar yaar hone idike andre including me nanu seradage pratiyobra paatra idiya inta ond paristhitiyana tandkolodike naavu athwa namanna aaluvanta nayakargalu paristhitiyana athwa elond kade janrige bekadanta proper awareness sigta illa anta ond ಕೂಗ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಅತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಸಫರ್ ಆಗೋದು ರೈತ ರೈತ ರೈತರಿಂದೇ ನಾವೆಲ್ಲರಿವತ್ತು ಊಟ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಇಷ್ಟು ನೆಮ್ಮದಿಯಾಗಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಯಾರು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊಣೆಗಾರಿಕೆ ಯಾರು ಸೊ ಈ ಒನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಹೂ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಲೀವ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಟು ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ why has this happened if you look back on the history of this country in the last 200 plus years there have been many terrible famines well we can always say because of occupation because of misuse and all that yes you can't change history that's our history all right you have seen even in 20th century we have seen some very debilitating famines so somewhere in early 60s or even in late 50s we started making up this idea of green revolution that was a bridge which made us cross the famine problem otherwise many of us or our parents wouldn't be alive you know they all lived because of the green revolution in this green revolution we found this magic of fertilizer and chemicals with which we could produce more food because of that our populations have gone up people have lived longer famines have not happened famine has not happened since 1962 we have to thank the fertilizer and chemical factories which supplied but it was a bridge if you cross the bridge then you must get to the land if you stay on the bridge forever you are on a bridge to nowhere <laughs> all right this is our problem we crossed the bridge and we did not get down and fertilizer and chemical usage could not be controlled and monitored because it's done in a such a diffused way because of that the damage has happened 
More than that, the real damage is because there is no organic content. There is no vegetation or animal life on the farms. You go on the farms and see where is vegetation, where is animal life. No plant life, no animal life, no organic content. No organic content, no organisms. No organisms, you're, t you're manufacturing a desert in your own backyard. This is the simple process. So, now is the time, because now for the first time in the last few years, we are a food surplus nation. Now that we are a food surplus nation, this is the time we need to adjust. Immediately, there are hotheads everywhere who will just raise, okay, let's burn down the fertilizer factory, let's do this. Let me warn them, if you take away all fertilizer and pesticide from the world today, our food production will come down to twenty-five percent of what it is right now. That is a death warrant we will sign of our own lives. So this is not about fertilizer chemicals. The problem with fertilizer chemicals is unbridled usage. A time has come where we need to increase the organic content and use fertilizer chemicals in a doctored way. Doctored way means there were... I mean, you have at least... See, this is not done in India, but in other countries you've seen airplanes spraying uh, pesticides and fertilizers. This is carpet bombing. All right? Literally killing everything that is there. Because we thought if you kill all life, our crop will come up. We don't understand the foundational life in the soil, which is a microorganism which you cannot see, is the only reason why the plant and tree is growing. And it is only because of that you and me are alive. Sixty percent of your very body is microbial organisms. So in a doctored way means because we are in a tech city, at least we are supposed to be, is... It is time we bring robotics into agriculture because now we can apply fertilizer and chemical just where it's needed. Right now we're just spraying all over the place, killing everything. So this method of mass poisoning of water, soil, everything, because we're afraid of one thing, is not the answer. Where the problem is, you need to apply there. Now it's simply being applied without any discrimination. A time has come to increase the organic content, reduce the fertilizer usage to the extent it is necessary for a given crop. Now, local, uh, you know, farmer who doesn't know much science about it, is simply using it according to his judgment. His judgment is just, your neighbor is using so much, so I also use so much. Yes, it is true that tomorrow morning if you give up your food and just take hundred and twenty-five vitamin pills, you will feel like this, wonderful, charged up. But if you do that every day, end is near.